following years and decades will be very fruitful. A, a teacher of mine, a professor who passed away in the Uni United States, said, power is not in politics, nor in the money. Politics, power is in those that create dreams and are capable of telling them. So for the power is sitting in this room. The power of narrate, narrating and bringing memory, invent, exploring the future, that grammatic, the grammatics of the fantasy is in all of you. There wouldn't be the power of bringing anyone together without the ability of creative independence, of singularity and wagering in favor of understanding between people. That's what films are, and Radio Televisión Española, uh, its function as a public service is to giving cinema and films freedom, providing a platform, if you'll excuse me for using this word, is uh, providing a foundation and stability and security and regularity, above all because in life we all know that we can't live isolated. Uh, the struggle of one person fails and if, and if there's not a spiritual community that exchanges and risks things and shares things and says, let's dream together constructively, well, this is not going to progress. I believe that quite sincerely that we have a great opportunity in the next few months and the coming years. The world is changing, also the European Union, also globalization, also inflation, also the living life, living conditions due to climate change. And all of this can't bring about a, neg a negation or denial approach. Well, we can't just wait and hold on or be proactive, let's invent the future together, let's construct and dream together, let's change the circumstances because sometimes routine and inertia is a drawback to the conquering the future and I think the opportunity of conquering the future, we have it. We have it because nothing is defined beforehand. We have it because perhaps amongst us all, those that make up the audiovisual industry, we can do many more things together than separately, many more dreams together than separating or separately, and many more dreams together put into practice if the minor details and differences can be put in the right way and be overcome. Let's think about the responsibility of the country that has to transform, and the audiovisual industry can be the third in Europe practically in a very short period of time, which has an enormous projection through the Spanish language, has strong alliances with Latin America and with Europe, and has a role to play, and can take advantage, I'm going to say this at the end of my presentation, the next generation funds that can be taken full advantage of to reform the professional culture of all Spanish cinema, to relaunch its creativity, undoubtedly, and its international success, and to be able to become the best we can within our own personal demands. I'm going to present, a sh give a short break, and if you share, if you deem, we can hold a dialogue on what this text is about that you know, or that you, almost all of you know, what it brings about and what it can achieve. First of all, it's a text which is open. It's a text that is not closed at all, which is open to dialogue and the consideration of everyone. I'm a person of understanding and consensus. I think it's very important that we set up the points of agreement. This text by, on the behalf of the and with the informal uh, agreement of meetings, emails, telephone calls, up until the last minute of what can be the beginning. Not, not a limitation at all, but a beginning. A beginning which has a basic component, and that is that Radio Televisión Española is going to do everything for Spanish film. For Spanish film, no barriers at all. I'm going to go over what we can, we can do, and let's be aware everything that you can compose from now on. And the wager is to set up an alliance or a partnership, a forum, I call it, a, let's talk about a foundation for understanding so that we can take advantage of the platforms. I'm not a Puritan in this aspect. I'm going to explain very briefly the text that you know, but 
how it can be developed. When we talk about both parties, we talk, we talk about multiple parts. That is the same. It's not only one part, which is Radio Televisión Española, and another part, a federation. No, multiple parties. It's an informal federation to di for dialogue and relaunch the process, but allows Radio Televisión Española to, to achieve or to establish commitments with your desires or what can benefit all of you. The first thing that we do is to recognize, and we recognize, is that we are in a global revolution. We are in a global revolution of the sector with digitalization and with a new geo strategy that we've, we have, we're enjoying a great opportunity. We can take full advantage of European funds but, and everything, the funds that are in the market. Radio Televisión Española up until now, to a certain extent, has been the driving force of the audiovisual industry. We want to do the, this more ambitiously in the future. And we don't want to be leaders, we want to be the foundation of those changes. So therefore your desires and your proposals will be more important than what we want to achieve, because in any case, we, we find ourselves with taxes and budgets of the state, that is say all citizens. We firmly believe, and this has been by the current government, and this has been said by the Vice President, uh, Enrique Calvino, and also the Minister, the Minister for Culture, we believe that we have a lot to do in Europe and in the world if our ambitions are large. So therefore, we can start to reform some of the things that have to be changed. First of all, Radio Televisión Española commits itself to increase in the, in the next years its investment in cinema, be it through the, the general law of cinema obliges it to do more, and especially, especially to buying of rights independent of, or the, uh, this I think is very important because up until now, we've done what we could in Radio Televisión Española and now we commit ourselves to do it in three different levels, three stages. Those cinematographic uh, projects that require a big budget or investment, we're going to do so that these projects can be the standard of our programming on prime time. I want to go further on. Here, the text talks about we're going to make Spanish cinema, admit Spanish t t uh, films on prime time. As much as we can, I can ensure we're starting right away in this season. One day a week, it will be dedicated to Spanish cinema. I think by, by taking this first step, independent of what Canter Media might say, I don't trust them very much, especially the margin of area, which are tenths or decimals, we want to talk about visibility, education, and teaching. So therefore, and I think we have to conquer an audience. An audience is done by capturing, capturing their endearment, and that can only be done with perseverance and constant, and being constant. And in it, we're going to talk, distinguish average or medium type films for Spain, uh, premium films as you know, which is ridiculous for other worldwide productions, but films that will allow us to have an investment of two or three million euros, and then films of auto, auto films or signature films which wager in favor, experimentation to a change. We're going to maintain this with all the requirements, equality, diversity, and also equity, and also co-official languages in our own languages or the languages that we speak on the Iberian Peninsula. They are a wealth, and we have to bear them in mind when we program films. We, we commit ourselves to do three months of assessment to buying antenna costs, Regular, 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 regu on a regular basis, and also accountability vis-a-vis -vis evalu evaluations, especially as regards in a permanent dialogue with you, all of you. <clears throat> We're going to try to rethink and redefine the how we exploit the films. It can't be a sequence of exploiting the films which dates back to many decades. Let's do this to think. Let's explore flexible paths so that we can change that sequence. We're also we're going to change the antenna rights of purchasing conditions. And it's something that the sector needs. It needs stability. It needs... Uh, it has to be for, foreseeable, and it also it needs investment. So therefore, uh, we want to accompany all of the producers who want to ask for this freely, 
who have an, a point of view from the initial development of an idea all the way through to the production conditions. And this will be a collaboration model, which will improve slowly but surely, but we want to start now immediately. Well, this also includes thinking together and some of the windows to exploit these, to compress a certain exploitment exploitation periods which don't uh, well aren't, don't fit into the needs of the market and perhaps segment the, them as well because we encompass all the rights and it takes a long time that we know we've got to study much better the digital world how we can do this much better we're going to also study how we exploit and how we introduce the rights of the international channel in the next few We've already done it and we're already working upon it. Wagering in favor of, uh, well, the Radio Televisiona Espanol abroad, premium, taking care of the premium channels, which is transmitting the cu culture of the country, including cinema and film. And I would say with film as a, the leading edge, but with journalism of quality, quality journalism, we've taken the first step to be in Colombia and the second step will be in Mexico. And that's where cinema and films are of fundamental importance because if in Latin America they see us is because of our TV series, f films, and our cultural imaginary, uh, and that, I think that we're, that's as decisive. We're open to work with other international challenges um, with film or film with platforms that we already have with ours, so that this cooperation can also be a catalyst in order to have a more ambitious co-production to seek for a, a, a larger market, not only Latin American but worldwide. We seem to think that this is a key element, but television, Spanish television, I come from the world of culture and education. I think that we've got to do a lot for films in the field of culture and education. If from childhood we create the conditions so that Spanish uh, film can be admitted, we create the conditions so that Spanish films can make it to the schools and to the high schools and the teaching centers. A few years back, the European Union asked for a study of how to introduce films into European schools. Simple things like the fact that the subjects last for one hour was enough impediment so that you couldn't see films. At high schools, I think we've got to do a decisive piece of work of introducing young people into Spanish films. But that work is not only a change of buying rights, it's also a personal involvement of directors, actors, and uh, critics as well. So therefore, we're going to uh, do this uh, social pedagogy wholeheartedly. And we're also going to do what we can in promoting festivals and where it corresponds to those films of those films that we've selected in our film board, and, and Radio Televisión uh, commits itself, but for several reasons. The, next week we'll sign an agreement with the Malaga Film Festival so that Radio Televisión Española can also be the official sponsor of the festival in Malaga. I can assure you in very few months we're going to be sponsors of almost all of the festivals in Spain, and we're going to open a collaboration, and we're already doing this, the European Union Radio uh, of the big five, shall we say, of the five that make up the executive, I'm trying to to come to agreements with televisions so that we can promote Spanish t uh, films. We've also signed an agreement with the Arte Channel. We've integrated it in the Art uh, Channel so that we can co-finance the creation, audiovisual creations throughout Europe. So therefore, this uh, event will be seen in Frankfurt, uh, in the book fair in Frankfurt, which has a protagonist, the Spanish language. So therefore, we're going to make sure that there's a systematic, um, in all channels, and also in our platform, we're going to hold sectorial uh, meetings with you and with ICO, which makes a lot of sense, in order to celebrate and to think together about the future. We can add many other things which are underway. For example, opening windows in a new platform. New, I say new, because we've invested, thanks to the support of the Spanish government, 20 million euros 
in applying artificial intelligence and launching it, we're going to take advantage also of the 75 million euros that the government has given us, granted us to relaunch vocational training in the world of cinema. And we're also going to launch and incorporate in our RTV platform everything that can help to become heritage memory, an active memory of Spanish cinema. Bef we're going to, before I finish, I want to show you a video upon the ASP project, which is for training. And when this video is finished, I will be pleased to share this brief period of time that we have together with all of you. But on the 26th of this month, we open an office prepared to receive all of the suggestions, all of your proposals in Radio Televisión Española, specifically in Prado del Rey, and Jose Pastor will tell you where, so that this, prince, this initial principle of understanding can conclude as, as quickly as possible in an event, a powerful event, which makes visible in front all of the power of Spanish cinema, the agreement of the, the power of the agreement with Radio Televisión Española with this film and to sketch what we're all going to do in the coming years. So therefore, can we show the video, please? With the Earth Project, you can go as far as you want. A new training hub in digital advanced uh, contents to train more than 40,000 people throughout the entire country. A project, a key project of the Digital Agenda 205 and to increase the public-private collaboration through associations in the audiovisual session sector. What differentiates the project is the practical learning through specializing and in-person uh, training aimed at young people, active professionals and unemployed people through many training lines, vocational training at the reach of everyone, university master's degrees and recycling courses for professionals, a model, a, tra a hybrid training model which responds to what the market demands, a project which anticipates the future of the audiovisual sector. With the guarantee of the RTVE Institute, more than 50 years of experience in audiovisual training and digital training with the technology and the most innovative media, jump into the future, do it, and make it your own. Thank you very much for your attention. And we can start the dialogue whenever you deem pertinent. Hi, good afternoon. Thank you very much for your presentation. There's no doubt that they're very, okay, good, fine words and makes us feel good, uh, positive words. How are you going to set up uh, that agreement with Arte? Uh, there's going to be a greater emphasis in co-productions with France and so on in the line of production. That could make a lot of sense, I believe. Well, we've signed an agreement, which is a double agreement. It's not an adhesion, not a collaboration. It says we integrate Radio Televisión Nacional forms in the, the to the management structure of Arte, same as we have now. But as well as this, we've created a fund, common fund of co production co-fund with uh, Arte and RTVE. Well, yes, and a certain amount this fund, but each year can be extended. And what we've created a follow-up commission where we show their interests and our interests, and we've already started up a couple of projects, two or three projects that will start up soon. The truth is, the public communication of all this, we'll do it in Frankfurt in October. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon. Jose Manuel, I'm Nicolas Magli, the president of Diffus, and I would like to ask you, please, this new plan, not leave to one side, animation, that Spanish television can also be the basis for Spanish animation. Well, completely committed, we've mentioned it in animation. The ATHE project introduces many elements of training in the field of animation, and all of our clan channel, or practically all of it, is dedicated 
to this issue. The idea with clan is to link clan to play theta to a certain hour, it'll be clan of an hour, as of another, a certain hour, it'll be play theta. But our wager of greater investment and expenditure in animation is guaranteed. Yes, of course. We didn't hear what the remark was. Any suggestions, any questions, any remarks? You don't have to ask questions if you don't consider it so. Just to congratulate attitude and the feeling and specific proposals and a future which is much more hopeful for Spanish TV and cinema and animation as well, Nico. We've always been talking about animation in this relationship, which is so important for all of us. So I just want to congratulate you for what you've done. Well, congratulate all of you. We just establishing the foundations. Film is a very complex and difficult, complicated ecosystem. You know, it's an industry and a creation at the same time. It's a risk and it's a ruin if things go poorly. So therefore, nothing prospers, as I said before, nothing prospers in isolation unless there is a community that says, let's forge ahead. And if there are no facts, the, the cemetery is full of good intentions. And I'm talking only about intentions. I'm Let's do pr this thing on prime time. We've signed with the agreements that I mentioned, we're going to continue to fight in favor of this. There's a team, a perfect team. So we're going to reinforce that team and strengthen it. And as of there, well, let's forge ahead. There's a certain lack of coordination with the Minister for, Ministry for Culture when working to, in order to generate a much more competitive industry. That's a challenge that exists. And then there's something that it's always surprised me. No one has been concerned for, about knowing, neither by the Ministry of Culture or by Radio Televisión Española either, what are the the accounts, the balances of the P&L of the producers. That's what I talked about the communication before. We've got to talk more about this. The coordination between Radio Televisión Española and the Ministry of Culture is perfect. The problem, what happens is, I can't talk about what happened before, but now we are, well, we are, they are. Radio Televisión Española, I don't know what the minister thinks, but I'm very satisfied with the co collaboration. I'm also promoting the coordination in Radio Televisión Española because, and I want to recognize this, and I think this is one of the things that we shouldn't forget ever is that Radio Televisión Española has been very internally lack of coordinated. There were niches, media niches of different units and niches of different units. And it wasn't easy to sit down at a table of mar commercial marketing, purchasing department, uh, the film board, the director of the second channel of the first channel, programmers, commercializer. So. Perhaps I said it very, I've done it very difficultly in my second life, but I would do it as, again, is that we should all sit down together. The, the journalists, we've got the best cinema program broadcasting throughout the country and perhaps the best in Europe on radio, on TV and so on. If we coordinate our work, if there aren't any picturesque cases, the director of Ojo Critic doesn't know the director of the second channel. We're close. Well, that coordination, I think, would help a lot. If that coordination, you help us as well with demands, well, obviously the P&L results is very important, and that's very important for all of us. We've got to bear in mind, and they're also the transport again. At the end of the year, not at the end of the year, a company presents its balances and accounts, and it's a P&L, just like Radio Televisión Española. We do the same. We've got difficulties. No, the difficulty that I had last year was to not make a profit. As clear as that, because 28 million profits, that makes no sense to make profits of 28 million. We've got to spend better, invest better on time so that the accounts can be balanced. If you help us this, we'll be glad to do so. And the machinery would be better for all of us. The feeling I have is that 
cambiamos o nos either we change or we get changed. Así que yo prefiero. So therefore I prefer to go the rhythm of change even if they do change me. But the rhythm of change is a commitment with the world if we look around. And then measures like Arte measures to talk face to face. Channel 22 launches a TV channel where we are located. The audiovisual hubs and the power of production that we have in our country is impressive, but we've got to modernize it. I'm going to give the presentation that Chimupuj is going to give in the launching of these studios in Alicante. Of course I am. And And like there are many like him, but not only for pro Spanish producers, but also for international producers. We have done, we held a meeting in Radio Televisión Española, the first Hispanic Arab uh, forum, all of the countries, Arab countries with money, with conflict or without a conflict, they're all very interested and they've asked us about films. And they don't have to look at Turkey. They can look at Spain. And the same with Latin America. It's a question of ambition and not fall asleep. And the, what ours is about is to dreaming awake. Well, let's build these dreams together. Uh, President, just one a little note, well, fantastic about Arte, because when we, we wanted to co-produce with friends, I made very f several films with them. We had to look for the co-producer. Otherwise, Arte wouldn't play. It's either they were German or, or they were French. So therefore, it's great to be there on the table with them. So I would like to contribute a coordination mechanism because you're working uh, quite a lot on that. Before, Channel 4 had a mechanism of relationship with producers, purely operative, and it was great. But it was progressing, the project project, it, it went on to the next phase. They had a commission editor. It were, they were well taken care of. There was always someone in charge of your project. And it seems to me, white uh, modelic, we could recover this. I haven't worked with the English, whether, whether they continue to work, but feeling attended to, you don't have to be Calvinistic, you don't have to enter into And above all, it, it makes the, pros, the project's progress rapidly in the hands of exper, in expert hands. In the, uh, in the case of Arte, I've known the president for many years. It's a coincidence. We get along very well. And I think that what you're saying is quite clear. That is, we we can call me, you, and you know what the Arte look is like, and you know what they want and what they're looking for, and we all know this. Well, at least open up a call so that you can submit projects so we can take it to the Arte board and clear and transparent. Whether there are 900, well, we'll have to select them, obviously. The two filters, one is ours, theirs, and both of us together. But I think I know the Channel 4 issue quite well as well. For quite a few years back, the idea is to propose a laboratory or whatever you want to call it, a media lab, for development of projects and open. If we create experts in developing projects in dialogue with you, and to that development unit we incorporate talent from abroad, though sometimes corporations are sometimes very closed. And that shows that something is, we have to open up. If we create an intermediate field with you and us, with young people who can run the risk and with older quote-unquote people, I mean knowledge-wise, that can tutelage this and we can generate the, uh, this, manage this We're using European funds for this and our own capacity. It's simply from, if it's the Bible or La Unión to the, the, the exploitation on the, on the net, for example, we can do this together because we will all do this much better together. I don't think that would be difficult at all. We've got uh, installations and facilities My idea was to, the new facilities that we've achieved in Valencia that have been given us a beautiful, enormous space, but we have to decentralize. So therefore, we've got Seville, we've got Zaragoza under operation, we've got Madrid, and we can do it systematically, taking advantage of the ATH, HAZ project, because it's in dialogue with you, this project. It can generate developments. It can also generate uh, professions that we don't have. There's a big bottleneck a lot of bottlenecking in certain productions because there are people that are not capable 
We don't have the capacity. We're going to generate that capacity as much as we can. This can be done intensely in six months. It can be done capacitating people uh, very quickly as long as we transfer knowledge to the right people, from the right people to the right people. And this can be the, done uh, through neuronal networks or uh, transfer networks, which aren't difficult to, to achieve and that it should also transcend to Spain, that it's got to go beyond Spain. Arth is not only a waging for Spain locally or in Spanish, it's got to be in several languages and it's got to start now. And it's going to start now if we lead it, otherwise the French will create it. And I prefer us to create it and that the French can follow us, our lead. I think that's very important. But as we are being followed in the integration of media. French TV is divided in TV, radio, international television, so on so forth. No, they're going to follow our model of integration and cross-sectionality of the decisions that are made. And that's where films play an important role. Spain has the capacity to be a leader in Europe. It must be a leader in Europe. Ask uh, Carlos Alcaraz, the tennis player, for example. Well, let's play hard. Maria Luisa Gutierrez, president of the State Association for Cinema. I want to thank you very much. The truth is I've missed an applause by the people in this room because this document, which is a first document, a draw, and which is open, as you said, it, collect, it gathers all of the interests that we uh, cinema producers have uh, transmitted. It's very important you know, I've talked about amounts, but the commitment that there's going to be an increase of investment in films, I think it's also very interesting. I'm not too sure whether we've all collected this, but the fact that they're going to buy rights, not only but the fact that you're going to invest in films, to giving this value to cinema as a public channel, making it quite clear of a continuous programming on prime time and films, Spanish film, not only be stuck in cans, which is something that we have asked you many, many times. I want to thank you that, that you're going to talk about those windows and that we can see in the 21st century and in 22, 22, 2023, to give us the PFL, PNL balances, as Mr. Reno says, other producers, and that difficulty that we have for producers to access and make it compatible, the rights of Spanish television, uh, Televisión Española, with other sources of financing which are necessary so these films can make it to where they have to make it. Thank you for bearing in mind that we're going to have to promote the films of Televisión Española, such as the films of private TVs, which is very important that that films that, that Spanish television works upon is there. And thank you for these intersectorial inter meetings that are going to start to be done. I think it's a first step, but if from you it's going to depend that all of this, which is a letter of intention, which undoubtedly is something historic, becomes something really great. It's going to depend about on you and all of the people that accompany. But thank you for that initial step. No, thank you. I, I'm sure it doesn't depend upon if this, and it shouldn't depend upon one, upon one person. This is much more important. I think it's a collective effort. I could get tired one day and I might leave, but this, we have to continue forging ahead. And this is important. I get tired because of the age I am, and plus I've got family commitments, but the important thing is that this should remain. And what I'm going to say quite clearly, I came to Red Division Española, I found hundreds of Spanish films that have not been screened that are there as an investment but not as an expenditure. They are stored away. We don't know what for. And when they've screened them, they've screened them in a, at late night in the evening when no one can see them or watch them. Those films don't deserve to be anywhere else. Well, of course they can be somewhere else, but there are many reels that are De lying there, we can't understand this. Why did we create them? Perhaps we have to produce more intelligent with more promotion, but we have to show case what we should, and we have to wager in favor of this seriously. Film can't be very important. I agree, an investment, it's got to be an expenditure and it's got to be a risk. And it has to be a wager in favor of it. And I think that when we, we know how to strengthen Spanish producers, which have a certain talent, but which 
they have a problem with the Spanish economy. But there are a lot of SMEs. They've got small investment ability, which makes us very vulnerable because with very little money, anyone can come along and buy a film. And they run amok. So therefore, I think the strength of the singularity that we have can defend us. The wager in favoring of talent before that buying by using money on the table, putting money on the table, which reduces creativity. Well, that singularity, we have it. We've got to strengthen it, and it needs an injection, it needs guarantees, and it needs time. It doesn't need me. What I'm seeking is that this can be said publicly, and we can all say it publicly, and it stays in everyone's memory so that anyone who comes along after me or you or the platforms will have no other choice than to follow this line. So therefore, that's why you've got to be, say it very powerfully, even without uh, we're applause, say three, two, one, we'll see where, and our third time, until people find out, because it's true that the effort that's being done today in the government to invest in transformation, to invest in training, in digitalization, is not going to ever happen again at least that we will live through. It's either we take advantage of it now or let's talk about something else. And what I want is for the dream to be the future, not the nostalgic regret, perpetual and everlasting regret. Well, okay, brief if it's good is even better. There's no second session, at least here. I want to thank the minister and all of the ministerial authorities that without their support and coordination and participation and vocation, we wouldn't have had anything. All of you, for the trust that you've given, confided in us, the informal meetings and the kindness of when I have dinner, where we talk to you, think that we should take a photo at least. Someone could take a photo here because I think that that we were all together in a meeting. Let all of the other countries tremble. Thank you very much.